bonuses, guaranteed housing, just some of the incentives being offered to health worker, healthcare workers in northern BC. Still, the region is struggling with a critical staffing shortage. And CTV's Penny Daflos has learned government is paying big bucks to private companies to try and maintain services. Outside the Lower Mainland, British Columbians enjoy the benefits of small town living but often lack a vital necessity, timely nearby medical care. There are real barriers to equitable health in this province. Those in rural and remote northern communities often drive hours for simple tests and pregnant patients must move to bigger towns to deliver their babies. The province and, and the ministerial mandate letters are, are pouring huge amounts of money and resources into to bettering our medical system, but we're seeing a mass exodus of healthcare professionals. One in five positions in Northern Health are vacant, and local leaders are renewing calls for an audit to find out why. You're just training new workers and bringing them into a toxic situation. They're there 18 months and they're gone, right? So it's just a revolving door and and it's, uh, it's, it's frustrating. For the past five years, every health authority has been increasingly reliant on temporary staff contracted from private for-profit agencies. Northern Health has spent more than the rest of them combined. We're always trying to hire as many permanent full-time staff that we, we can. The health authority insists contracted nurses and technicians are a last resort and they're doing everything it takes to maintain service amid critical staffing shortages. It's something that we're seeing uh, around the globe and are particularly uh, harder hit in, in those nor northern rural and remote communities. Northern Health is offering incentives to work in underserved communities, but some municipalities are now so desperate they are poaching health care workers from each other with offers of guaranteed housing and bonuses of up to $40,000. I don't know how we're going to find our way out of this other than to completely revitalize our medical system. It just the current structure in place is not making any sense. Local leaders also want input with the health authority. But there's no accountability outside of it. Because it's become clear that money alone can't solve BC's health care crisis. Penny Daflos, CTV News, Vancouver.